What's up guys, welcome back to Vagra Brothers. In today's episode, we're gonna show you how to spend the perfect day in Santa Monica, California. So Santa Monica is one of the best neighborhoods in Los Angeles. It's very popular with locals and visitors. Mm -hmm. And today we got a friend in town, a fellow YouTuber from Quebec, Lisant Nadeau. So we're gonna show her some of our favorite spots and hopefully give you guys some inspiration for your next trip to Santa Monica. Allons-y. All right, guys, first stop is Dogtown Coffee Shop. Uh, if you know anything about skateboarding, Dogtown and Z-Boys were a group of local skaters who pretty much revolutionized skateboarding in the 1970s. This is their old headquarters, Zephyr. It was the Zephyr Surf Shop. Now it's this cute little cafe. So we're gonna grab a quick coffee, some brunch, and see where we go. Yeah, so like Alex was saying, like this place was the Zephyr Surf Shop, which was the kind of the home headquarters of the Dogtown Skate Crew. They basically took skateboarding in the 1970s from like sidewalk surfing, like Beach Boys style, into like a much more rock and roll uh, vertical basis, which is kind of like the foundation of modern professional skateboarding. If you want more info, there's a really great documentary called Dogtown and Z Boys, as well as a Hollywood movie called Lord's Dogtown. Either one will tell you a bit more about the story of this neighborhood. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, we've met up with Le Sandre. If you don't know her, she's awesome. How are you enjoying LA so far? I, I love it. I want to stay here forever <laughs> and not go back to Montreal. So we are going to show the songs of some cool places today. So stick around. I feel like I'm in a Grand Theft Auto. So according to legend, beach volleyball was invented here in the 1920s by the Hawaiian Duke Kahanamoku, who also brought surfing to California. This is the beach from Baywatch, like if you've seen that, that's kind of what made this place famous. But here on the south side of the pier, it's a bit more low key. On the north, it can get a little bit hectic, but down here, it's got a more mellow vibe. So I'm gonna give this a try. I've seen people doing this. Let's see if I can get my orangutan arms going. I've obviously worn my perfect workout shirt. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> That's off to you, Marco. Nicely done. You orangutan. Do you want a photo of you on the cannon? I. How do I say no to that? Yes, of course. Go. I'm just gonna cross step to nose ride. Oh. <laughs> so we made it to the Santa Monica Pier. This is like the most famous landmark in Santa Monica. It's actually the end of Route 66. And it's kind of like one of these old school, classic amusement piers from the late 1800s. Um, there was a huge ballroom on here. There's a couple of historical landmarks, like a Ferris wheel, roller coaster. And uh, you know, back in the day when LA was really first developing, when the railroad came here in the 1880s, there was a light rail system that connected Santa Monica Pier with the rest of it, Los Angeles, and that really made this whole area grow up. So the pier is basically the basis for the whole of Santa Monica that, as we see it today. Well, we are saying goodbye to... The Santa Monica Pier. The Santa Monica Pier, and we're off to go grab some lunch. Where are we going, brother? So we're gonna go to Bay City's Deli. This is an Italian deli. It is probably one of the most classic spots for lunch in Santa Monica. And there's a lot of great places to eat, so it's kind of hard for us to pick favorites, but this is definitely one. It's a little bit of a walk. Let's go. But it's worth it. Wait, 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 wait. Shut up! <laughs> what would it be like to be on the moon? We are just arriving at Bay City's Italian Deli. This place is famous, really, really good sandwiches. Good spot for lunch. Now that's a spicy meatball. Now put it in your mouth. Oh, it's very hot. Oh my God. So good. This one's a Spaniard, it's got like Chorizo, it has jamón serrano, dried tomato, and some provolone. It's very, very good. This tastes like what farms in Quebec smells like. I don't really? get it. Ah, I don't get it. 
So does it smell good? No. It tastes like manure, is I guess uh, it tastes like manure is these sandwiches, yeah, I like farms in Quebec must smell great. No afternoon in Santa Monica would be complete without a little stroll through the 3rd Street Promenade. And no Sunday would be complete without stop at the bar called The Bungalow. So we're gonna go there. It's a place where there's a lot of beautiful people sipping nice cocktails. Be fun. Let's do it. All right, guys, The Bungalow is really chill. It's a little bit pricey. Um, it's like 15 bucks a cocktail. But I think it's worth it. It's worth it. It's a stylish little spot to grab a cocktail. Definitely. Um, it's a nice way to spend an afternoon. I'll say that. People watching and cocktail sipping. guys, last stop of the day. We are heading down the street to South Santa Monica to a place called Cha Cha Chicken. It's like Caribbean inspired food uh, and it's BYOB, which is great. So you guys will like this place. Gracias. Algo más? No. Okay, so this is like a pan Caribbean place. We got a little bit of Jamaican style jerk chicken, a little bit of Cuban style ropa vieja, and some empanadas from Latin America. So we got a little bit of everything. It's a red stripe to wash it down, man. Old clothes never tasted so good. Baila, baila. How's that salsa? It's actually really spicy salsa, but the salsa music's good too. This is it right here? That jerk chicken. Sure, check them on. Whoa. So good. We're on our way to the last stop of the night. Shay J. Going to the dive bar, Santa Monica. How do we pronounce that? Shay J. Shay. She. J. J. <laughs> like that. Homsa. Like Guys, if you follow the game plan, that would be a splendid day in Santa Monica, California. Splendid indeed. If you liked that video, make sure to check out our other video, Top 10 Things to Do in Los Angeles for some more ideas. And don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends or your travel partners, and like it, of course, as well, and send a comment if you have other recommendations for things to do and places to see in Santa Monica. You made it through all of those and only slightly slurred. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. I just share said with your friends. I just said that, <laughs> you dumbass. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace.